What's up developers, it's Dari here and welcome back to a new video where we're going to cover the pluck and key bind methods in Laravel, which are used to restructure collections. Now we're going to start off with the pluck method, which allows you to retrieve a single column value from a collection of records. And this is very useful, you need to retrieve a list of values from a collection of records. And an example might be our collection of article records. This is very useful when you need to retrieve a list of values from a collection of records. So let's say that you only want to retrieve the title of all articles that you have. Now let's get started. Uh, let's define a new variable named articles and let's set it equal to our article model and let's then use the pluck method. Now quick note, the pluck method retrieves the data itself. So you don't need to change the get method to it as well. So we can get rid of that. Now the pluck method accepts one single argument, which is the name of the column that you want to retrieve from the collection of records. So in our case, uh, let's say the title. Once we perform our request and scroll up, you will see that we have retrieved a collection, but we have only selected the title of all of our records. Personally, I'm a huge fan of using the pluck method because I've run into tons of situations where I don't need to retrieve all articles from a row, but simply just one. By using the pluck method, you will improve your query speed because it only retrieves the data that you need. The next method that I want to cover is the key by method. And the key by method is used to restructure a collection into an associative array using the values of a specified columns as keys. So let's say that we have a collection, again, of articles, and we want to restructure it so the articles are keyed by their ID. To use the key by method, we first need to retrieve our collection. We can do this using the article model, where we can then, just like we did with the pluck method, and quick note, this isn't the best working example because it's not best practice to retrieve all records and then restructure them. But for this example, I need to have a collection that I would map, which is through the article model, where we're going to select all articles. Now that we have our collection, let's use the key by method to restructure it. So let's say articles by ID is equal to our articles object, where we're gonna chain the key by method. We do need to pass in one argument, which is the column or attribute where you want to key it by. So let's say ID. And what this does is creating a new associative array from our collection, where the keys are the ID values of each article and the values are the article objects themselves. So once we perform our request, you will see right here that we have a new associative array with the ID of one, with data inside of it. And our item number two is right here, where you will see that the ID is once again number two, which is equal to the actual ID of the article with all the data inside of it. We could also change the argument of ID to let's say title, which would change the associative array keys of the title article. So right here, you'll see that one has been replaced with the actual title. Quick summary, we covered the pluck and key by method in Laravel. The pluck method retrieves a single column value from a collection of records, while the key by method is used to restructure a collection into an associative array using the values of the specified columns as keys. In the next tutorial, we're going to dive into modifying collections using the push, put, forget, pop, and shift methods in Laravel. If you do like my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up, and if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.